Hi Witchlings, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm making an outdoor altar for Diana. But first, lunch. So since it's an outdoor altar, you know, I'm gonna wait till my, I'm, I, I need food before I can think about this. Today we have some polenta with onions and peppers and chorizo. It was fucking delicious. So I do have to like get things for this altar. I know where I'm putting it to. Originally, I was like, I wanna use things that I have, but there are a few things in mind that I have to like get. And obviously we're making an altar for Diana, so the dog's coming with me. <laughs> we're going on a field trip to the local metal physical store. These dogs are allowed inside. I definitely think Benji's gonna help me choose things, right? He went, blam. The wild thing with like roses are associated with Mary. Things like um, mugwort, apple, maybe jasmine are associated with Diana. And I don't necessarily have a table I'm using. I'm gonna be setting it up under a tree in my backyard. <laughs> which I'm really excited for. Hydration is important. So I'm gonna go to the store and see what I think I need. I'm probably gonna get something like a mugwort bundle to keep outside, maybe a candle. I have like something that I'll probably leave outside for smoke offerings, like a cauldron, because I have a different smoke thing now. And we'll go from there. I'm planning also to make tea for Diana. I ordered some mugwort and rose body oil that I'm gonna be devoting to her. This is step one in my process of reconnecting with Diana because since I moved, it's been a little difficult to connect with her. So this is step one in reconnecting with Diana and you're gonna see like a full video on that later. But for now, you get a mini vlog. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. We need a very exciting. pictures but I didn't film inside the store mostly because I had to watch the dog and wasn't I wasn't able to actually like pull out the camera focus it and do all this other stuff the cat's really interested so firstly I got some mugwort a bundle I got a mugwort bundle because I don't have one I have like a rosemary bundle I have a mugwort bundle but this is probably gonna stay outside on the altar. I got two candle holders, mostly because they're really fucking cute. Look at that, for little taper candles. I'm not sure if these are gonna be outside or not because they're brass. And I feel like brass, when exposed to the elements, doesn't have a good time. This is what they look like. But I'll keep these kind of around and bring them outside for rituals. I got some soap from Secret of Apothecary just for me. It smells good. <laughs> I did get something that can stay outside permanently. It is this cute little incense burner that you can like sway back and forth like they do at Catholic Mass, which I'm really excited. I'm really excited about because I think this will be able to stay outside. I'll test it out. And the place that I'm setting up this altar is literally just like a pine tree. I did wanna, I was thinking about getting some pinion pine incense, but I'm just gonna make my own. I got a new little offering bowl. This is ceramic, um, so it'll be fine when exposed to the elements. Plus, I just think it's so nice and simple and small. It's really cute. I'll put food offerings, water offerings, etc., in here and bring it ever in every once in a while to clean a veil because 
I love veils. And part of my devotion for Diana is bandanas. Except this one's actually, I think, too small to fit on my head. Oh, it'll... But now I have like a cute little cloth that I'll probably hang up around the house um, for decoration. We got some Witch's Sabbath incense. This has mugwort in it, dragon's blood incense, and a few other things that I haven't smelled it yet. I'm kind of interested. Just sniff. I like making my own incenses, but I do plan on making like a drink for Diana. So I didn't want to like, wow, that is very earthy. Not in a bad way. So I like this, probably consecrate this, uh, consecrate the altar with this. I did finally get Diana Pearl deck. This is Hollow Valley, Valley. it is a deck of symbols. And this will be unlike other things kept inside to commune with Diana because I have uh, like two decks for my ancestors now and I don't I didn't I haven't I've never had a deck like for Diana I've had things that like I've communicated her to with her but I've never consecrated something in her honor I think this is really beautiful Ooh, yeah and so what pulled me automatically to this was that a lot of the symbolism is like antler it's very simple it's very cute window evergreen eclipse reflection snake there are a lot of things in here that i associate heavily with diana like uh crossroads eye water dismemberment what a card tower card in here mountain i associate with diana moon i associate with diana dog i associate with diana dagger i associate with diana crow oh it's got the fox in here too i love the fox it's just like such a beautiful deck, Forest. And I saw it and I immediately, I immediately was like, that's Diana's deck. Which is how I like to choose my decks for my guys is because like, I don't just necessarily like being like, I think they like this. Like I see a deck and I'm like, this is for Diana. This is it. And plus Oracle cards are great. Let's take a look. It comes with its own guidebook too. Oh, and it breaks down everything in it. <sighs> I'm so excited for this deck. Can you take a The next step is consecrating these things in honor of Diana. I'm probably gonna use the mugwort. And from there, going outside and actually creating the altar. So you're gonna see the process and how it goes. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. You are currently perched on a pile of rocks. This is the tree. So since Diana is also queen of the woods, I am going to be putting out a little bird feeder with some suet in it as an offering to both her and the local wildlife. I'm gonna be putting it in the Well, then I'm gonna tilt you guys up a little bit. So I'm gonna be mostly doing work up here. Nice. The thing about this tree is that it's almost like I can give offerings on the tree itself. I don't have to necessarily set up a bunch of shit, which I really like. This is a charcoal pen. It's gonna make a noise that you're not gonna hear.
I'll see where I can hang this bad boy. So now I've consecrated everything, I'm covered in charcoal, and the altar and kind of space has been established for Diana, which means that I can go out there and leave prayers, that, you know, I can uh, burn prayers there, I can leave offerings, I can also leave, you know, some of my offering materials out there. It is directly in my backyard, so I will be in charge of monitoring it, making sure the substances and things placed on it are safe for the wildlife because that is the most important thing. And I do love the fact that the altar itself is a pine tree. Whereas most people may not associate Diana with pine trees, I do and I kind of always have. Maybe because there were just a lot of pine trees where I grew up and there are a lot of pine trees here and I associate Diana with the mountains. The outdoor altars were typically fruits Tiny statues of stags, sculptures of mother and children, bread and clay shaped into body parts in need for healing, incense of sacred plants like laurel, thistle, mugwort, vervain, wormwood, jasmine, bee balm, apples, almond. Hair washing rituals were typical on Nemoralia, but that's something that I'm planning to continue. So I have fruits. I don't have a statue of a deer yet. We'll get there. I do have mugwort there that is I used to consecrate everything. What I may do is I may take the mugwort and work on it, like weave thistle and laurel and some vervain and wormwood into it. But for right now, the mugwort's staying outside. I know typically you're not supposed to leave bundles outside, but it is an offering to her. And moving forward, I'm gonna be making tea, all this other stuff. So I'm very pleased with how this turned out and the process it took to get here. It did take me all fucking day. Um, but I really like where the altar is now and how it'll kind of go moving forward. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what I come up with and how things kind of go about. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, if you have any questions about my process, let me know. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much. Um, if you want, you can subscribe, comment, uh, turn the bell on, but absolutely no pressure. And remember to enjoy the rest of your day. Siete Benedetti.